Okay, so I'm out here working on a customer's Honda outboard. This is 150 horsepower, 2.4 liter, fairly new outboard. I believe it's like a 2016, 2017 model. It's hard to tell what is going on 100% without taking the boat out for yourself. So we took this boat out and what would happen, you rev it up around 3000 RPM, cruise there all day long. You give it the beans and it would rev right to 6200, which is the rated top RPM for this. And it would cruise there for four or five minutes. And then all of a sudden just fall on its face and start broop, 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 broop. Ran terrible. You throttle it back, still run terrible. Throttle it back, throttle it back, throttle it back till you were almost at an idle and then it would smooth out and it would run fine. Which that kind of an issue with a fuel injected modern outboard kind of indicates that the vapor separator tank is running dry because vapor separator tank is where the high pressure fuel pump is which feeds the fuel rail. The low pressure pump sucks fuel from the tank through the filters and feeds the vapor separator tank. So let's show you what we found. So first of all, this Honda has a three-stage fuel filtration setup. It goes through a water separator, then a suction filter. After the low pressure pump, it goes through another filter, which is kind of hidden, stashed in next to the high pressure pump or the vapor separator tank. So when we got it, I pulled that off and found that secondary filter completely black. Now, normally they're either yellow or green so that you can see contaminants. So we changed that one. And being stupid, I didn't check the suction side filter. So let me show you the suction side filter. That is this right here. I'm going to get some close up pictures of this as well as the disgusting container of fuel that it was in. But the most interesting thing for this is if I take this jar of fresh gas and pour it in the top of this filter, the filter fills up. Gas. The gas doesn't hardly run out of the filter. I can pour this paper filter out. It retains fuel that much, which tells you that that filter isn't flowing any fuel. So that's our problem. The first thing you want to do when diagnosing a strange running issue, especially a high RPM hesitation, is change these fuel filters. Now on this particular Honda outboard, this should be doable with the cowling on. I have this one taken loose so that you can see a little bit clearer. Now remember, we don't want this filter in the front. That's just a water separator. We want this one with a paper element in it. You can pull this off the side of the engine. It has a little rubber shock mount. Once it's off, you can take that rubber shock mount and pull it off the bottom of the bowl. At that point, you can get to the three Phillips screws that hold a little metal bracket on that holds that bowl on. At that point, the filter, just pull it off and then put the new one right back on. It has an internal O-ring, easy as could be. Put the bowl back on, reassemble it, and that filter was nasty. So if you need to change the high pressure filter, that's back here behind all the other filters attached to the high pressure fuel pump. Now you will need to take the cowling off at least this far so you can drape it down on the side a little bit to gain access. This is the cover we're going to be disassembling to change that high pressure filter. Take these three Phillips screws, one is hidden behind it, and you don't need to take this bolt out of it. Hex bolt is for checking the fuel pressure. You'll find inside under that cover a filter like this. There's a little spring and that rubber seal that you see on the top of the filter on the right. Change that, reassemble it all back together. After it's all back together, you can go out and freeze to death on the lake like me and Tiffany did test driving this boat. But at the very least, you see it's running great, 6,000 RPM. Customers were thrilled to have the boat back running in proper order with just a fuel filter needing to be changed. The snow on the side of the lake banks was cold as could be. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you and we will see you in the next video.